This is a question that gets asked a lot. What are your thoughts on cacao? Raw chocolate crackow, otherwise known as crackow, otherwise known as raw hippie crack, otherwise known as raw chocolate. What are your thoughts on this, Harley? It's been sold by a lot of superfood promoters out there. What are your thoughts on cacao, raw cacao? Is it a scam? Is it a gimmick? Is it junk? Is it superfood? Is it the best food ever for the best day ever? What is cacao? What's the deal with raw chocolate? Here it is, bottom line. Raw chocolate or chocolate is a neurotoxin. You're going, no, it's not. It's organic. It's raw. It's, it's even vegan. You can get vegan chocolate, Harley. It's good for you. I'll tell you what. Theobromine. Theobromine is the chemical constituent in the chocolate, in the raw cacao, the cacao bean. That's just like... Pesticide, you can call it a pesticide, it's a, it's a neurotoxin. The cacao plant uses that as a neurotoxin to damage or possibly kill or, what's the word, weaken the potential consumer of that seed because the plant wants that seed to grow. So look up theobromine neurotoxin on Google. Theobromine is a neurotoxin. Cacao is rich in theobromine. Theobromine is the sister element to caffeine. Look it up. Look, this is not bro science or whatever. This is actual biological fact. Look on the Botany website. Theobromine is a neurotoxin. So if you eat raw chocolate, vegan chocolate, a few times a year, it's probably not going to be an issue. It's like smoking cigarettes. You can smoke cigarettes a couple times a year. It's not going to be an issue. I don't recommend smoking cigarettes. I don't recommend consuming chocolate because they're both containing the plant drugs, the toxic neurotoxins like nicotine and you know theobromine. So if you're into health, then chocolate should be off your dietary list. Chocolate off the list. I always find it amusing when superfood gurus, they diss the organic bananas and they promote raw chocolate as the best food ever. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Uh, how does that work? So anyone who's serious about health should not, should not, not be eating chocolate. Cut it out of your diet. Send it back for a refund. Ask the dealer, this contains theobromine, it's a neurotoxin. So anyone who says fruit's bad, but they sell you raw chocolate, you got to ask, are they scamming me? Are they huckstering me? Now, I know people out there who are new to the whole raw food scene, and they're making raw chocolates, and they don't understand how toxic it is. And I'm not aiming this video at them or anyone in particular, really. I'm just saying that there's a lot of newbies out there who are interested in chocolate because they get sold and told that it's a health food. Chocolate is a toxic neurotoxin for the human brain. If you give your chocolate to your dog, you're going to kill it. I used to sell raw chocolate, and when I learned about its toxic effects, I'm like, I can't do that. I can't sell chocolate, man, because I'm like a health crusader. I'm a health renegade. I can't be selling chocolate to people. So I got out of that thing, and I can make a lot of money selling chocolate because it's basically a drug from Ecuador. Basically, that's what it is. Chocolate's a drug. It's addictive. Theobromine's addictive. Chocolate is full of addictive chemicals that are toxic to your health. And so you sell people chocolate, you tell them don't eat fruit. So now they've got a big they've got a big sweet craving. So you sell them raw chocolate and you make sure it's full of refined sugar like honey, agave, yacon, etc. Your coconut crystals or coconut nectar, aka refined fucking sugar. Refined sugar for your health is good when it's compared to chocolate. You could give me a glass of sugar, white sugar in water, and say, oh, it's coconut water, and I could drink it, oh, well, that's pretty sweet. I wouldn't notice any ill effects the next day. But if you slipped Krakow raw chocolate into my food, next day I'd be floored. I'd have the hangover. I'd have adrenal exhaustion. Chocolate, cacao, is a raw toxin. So anyone who says to you that chocolate, raw chocolate, organic chocolate, whatever, is a health food, they're either A, ignorant, which is cool. You know, people are ignorant. I used to, be, I used to say chocolate was the best food ever. Or B, they're damn right hucksters, and they know how toxic the chocolate is for you. And they know how damaging it is, they know how addictive it is, but they don't give a fuck. Because all they want is that dollar out of your pocket, out of your purse, out of your wallet, out of your bank account, out of your PayPal account, out of your MasterCard or Visa account. That's all they give a fuck about. So anyone who's selling chocolate in 2012, who is well educated on the subject, I don't want to talk about newbies or people who are like, oh, isn't chocolate good? I'm talking about the people who know the dangers of it, who've been selling this for many years, they know the dangers of chocolate. you got to ask yourself, is this person got my best interests at heart? Or are they just seeing me as another customer to make money on and to scam and BS me? So that's my opinion on raw chocolate. I'm against it highly, strongly. If you want sweet, eat fruit. Easy as that. Easy as that. Put down the theobromine. Have, have some carob if you want that chocolatey taste. Have carob. Better yet, just have some fruit. Have some sweet, fresh, or dried, organic fruit. Eat as much as you want. 
Fruit's the best for weight loss. Cacao, chocolate is full of fat. That's why a lot of the chocolate sellers get fat. For weight loss, chocolate's a really bad weight loss food because it's full of fat. It's full of fat. And people ask me, what, isn't chocolate good for weight loss? I read in the, the chocolate superfood book that, you know, the, the superfood infomercial catalog that chocolate's good for your health and it's good for weight loss. Raw chocolate's good for weight loss. Raw chocolate for weight loss? Look at the fat content of chocolate. The cow seed by itself is full of fat. And when you add oil to it, it's fattening. That's why the chocolate gurus are so fat, overweight, puffy, pudgy, drugged out. Cacao makes you fat, it makes you sick, it makes you toxic, it makes you slow. It creates adrenal exhaustion. Get rid of the chocolate, get slim, get fit, get on the fruit, get on the carbs, low fat, vegan. That's where it's at. When it comes to drugs, just say no. Thanks for watching.